This video will instruct you on how to properly collect samples for drinking water analysis. When sampling for drinking water, make sure you have all the bottles necessary for each test and that you thoroughly understand the sampling instructions. Choose a non-leaking tap that has separate hot and cold handles. Swivel faucets, hoses, and drinking fountains are not recommended. Remove the aerator or screen from the faucet before sampling. Sanitize the nozzle of the tap by using a 10% bleach solution. Make sure that your hands are clean or you wear gloves while sampling for total coliform. Flush the water tap for three to five minutes and label sample bottles appropriately. Collect the sample in the sterile bottle provided by the laboratory at least to the fill line, but do not overflow. Immediately cap the bottle and prepare for transport to the laboratory. Mark sample bottles appropriately. Run cold water tap for three to five minutes. Reduce flow of water to a light stream. Fill vial to about one half inch from top. Add five drops of hydrochloric acid provided for you by the laboratory. Be sure to use caution when handling hydrochloric acid. Carefully fill the vial to the top, allowing a water dome to form on top. This is called a reverse meniscus. You may fill the cap with a little water and quickly close tightly onto the sample vial. Turn the sample upside down, checking for any air bubbles. The sample may be rejected by the lab if air bubbles are present. Keep the samples at 0 to 6 degrees centigrade and return to the lab promptly to meet quick holding times for these samples. When sampling for first straw lead, Collect the very first drops of water by holding the bottle under the tap prior to turning on the cold water. Do not use cold water for at least six hours before sampling. Sampling procedures for inorganic samples such as nitrogen, metals, and physical characteristics like hardness, alkalinity, fluoride, and pH are as follows. Mark sample bottles appropriately. Run cold water tap for three to five minutes, then rinse sample bottle once and fill to the shoulder. Replace cap securely. The shortest hold time for the above parameters is 48 hours for nitrites. Any portion of samples used for metals analysis will be preserved at the lab with nitric acid to a pH of less than 2.0. Thermal preservation is recommended for physical characteristics such as hardness, alkalinity, and turbidity, as well as nitrate and nitrite. Transport samples to the lab at 0 to 6 degrees centigrade. During transport to the lab, try to keep the sample in a dark place to reduce algae growth.
To ensure proper analysis, make sure all samples are labeled clearly with the necessary paperwork when bringing to the laboratory. A small cooler will help to transport the samples to the lab at the correct holding temperature of 0 to 6 degrees centigrade.